we're going to be making moon phase stamps. The new moon, quarter moon, and full moon. What I initially carved them for was, um, although I, I use a moon journal, the new moon calendar and journal that I created that has the moon phases on it. I also, for my day today, um, am using the get to work book. And it doesn't have the moon phases in there. And I live by the moon and the moon is my calendar. So I want to do any of my planning and thinking around what it is that I'm um, working on around the moon phases. So I printed them in my get to work book. I hope you enjoy the project. Um, let's see, the materials consist of, um, this is by Speedball and it's called Speedy Cut. Speedy Cut. And it says, great for beginners, printmakers, and stamp carvers. These high density rubber blocks make carving fast and easy. And it's true. So we need this, something to carve with, a pencil, and um, something round to trace. So this is my button collection and there's lots of different sizes I can choose from. I made some of the moon face stamps. This is about, they're about half an inch. Um, you can make them bigger. This is an inch. Depends on what you want to use them for. Um, okay, and then for printing, I have an ink pad. You can use ink um, and roll it on with a brayer or you can just put it on a pad and then some paper to stamp on. Okay, so starting with this big block, I want to cut it down um, and I'm going to save the other part for another project I'm working on. So you can mark, I don't usually measure, but if you want to measure, you can measure it, mark it. I'm just going to cut off this section right here. Um, I can do that with an X-Acto knife or actually just scissors. It's so soft and so easy to cut. This is pretty thick. Um, kind of crumbly. So I'm going to set this aside for a different project. Um, and then I'm going to choose what size button um, I want to make for the moon. So I'm going to choose something uh, probably yeah, a little bigger than half an inch. I'm going to put it down and trace around with a pencil. One, two, and three. So one is going to be the new moon, one is going to be the quarter moon, which can be used for the first quarter or the last quarter. It can be flipped, so you just need one for first and last quarter, and then the full moon. I'm going to cut this again smaller. And I can use this to make other stamps. So now I've got three and I can start carving them with this tool. So you can work down on a surface like a table. For this video I'll hold it up in the air so you can see. I'm going to carve anything I don't want stamped. I'm going to carve away. Um, so anything that's carved away won't show up, it won't print or stamp. Just the raised part that's left behind will stamp. And this new moon is just, it's a circle. It's a dark circle, the moon is in shadow, um, so we can't see the new moon. It's backlit by the sun so it travels in the sky and we can't see it. So often it's called a dark moon. Um, so I now have my dark moon. I'm going to print it and the ink will show me. Here's a stamp pad. It's called Just for Kids. It's water based. Um, it's not my favorite but it works okay. So I'm going to put my stamp on there, get some ink on, and then I'm going to stamp my new moon. And you can see there's some sort of corners or points. I can go back in with my carving tool and smooth those out.
Okay. To make it a little more round. Now I might have cut away too much. But I'm going to print it again and see. Okay. Looks good. So, there's my new moon. The quarter moon is um, the circle and it's cut down the middle. So one half will be light and one half will be in shadow. And it doesn't matter which half because you can flip it one way or the other and use it for both. The first quarter as the moon waxes and grows in light, the light is on the right in the northern hemisphere and it's the reverse. Um, in the southern hemisphere. So the light is on the right as it grows. So I'm doing the same um, thing I did with the new moon, which is to cut away the excess around the circle itself. So I cut away all around the circle and now making a mess with all these shavings. Um, and now I'm going to choose just one side. So I'm going to go in and carve out and leave a little ring around the edge of one side. So I'll go down the middle and then carve out one side, leaving a little raised part around the edge. And you'll be able to see it when I print it. So you're kind of just digging out half. And it's the quarter moon, because the moon cycle is divided into these four phases. And so the first quarter is the first quarter of the cycle, but it's half lit. Okay, so again, I'm going to stamp it. And you see this ring around the edge? So I left that and then carved out the center. So the light is on the right for the first quarter. So I'm going to print it. And that looks alright. There's some corners on it, but I'm just going to leave it for now. Okay. So from the quarter moon, we go to the full moon. And I have a little extra. I'm going to start by carving around the edges. So again, carving out the background around the circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in and carve the inside and leave a little ring around the entire outside. So when it prints, it'll just look like an open circle. Okay, almost there. All right. This one's not super smooth. It has some jaggedy corners around the edge, but for now, I kind of like it. So that's the full moon, and I'll hold it up so you can see it's this, the outer ring. So the dark moon, the first quarter, the full, and then for the last quarter, I'll just flip it so the last quarter, the light is on the left. So the moon fills up and it empties. And from there, we'll go back to the new moon, the dark moon. And there you go. See you next time.